Hey everyone, this video is going to be a quick instructional on how to terminate a Systemax Category 5 data jack or Category 5E data jack to a Category 5E network cable. If you're working with Category 6, the concept is basically the same except Category 6 has like a little plastic insert in the cable you have to get rid of. Alright, this is fairly simple. Uh, you need uh, a pair of electrician scissors and a uh, what they call 110 termination tool. If you don't have something like that, you can improvise some other ways. The first thing we want to do is take our cable and we want to strip back the jacket. So this, this blue thing is the jacket and inside is uh, eight uh, copper wires. So I'm going to use a stripper tool, although you can just use the electrician scissors. Put that on there, make a couple of turns, pull that off, break open the cable. Now what you're supposed to do is after you make that initial little cut, is you're supposed to make like a little bitty nick like this and take the pull string and pull back some of the jacket like this. And you might be thinking like, well, wait a minute, why are we doing that? Well, that's because if there's any chance that the, the either the, the, the wire stripper that I just used or the electrician scissors that I just used might have nicked the uh, insulation on these wires, we want to go ahead and pull back and get to a fresh spot where that won't be an issue. So you pull the string back, kind of acts like a little, like a little uh, peeler, and cut that off. And then what you want to do is carefully, without nicking the insulation on the inside wires, you want to, sometimes a tearing action or sometimes like a, like a small clipping combined with a tearing action can basically get the rest of that jacket off of there so you end up with this. So ideally you want this to be mostly a round cut right here. Okay, that's not perfect, but that'll work. Now what we want to do is we're going to take our jack. And you see how these, we've got these wires in here with the different colors. We've got the blue, orange, green, and brown. Well, they're, they're pairs of wires. There's a blue pair, orange pair, green pair, and a brown pair. And each of them is like a solid color with a white wire. So the white wire is what they would call the blue-white. And then the blue wire is what they would call solid blue. And those match to color codes on the outlet or the, the jack or the keystone jack, the Systemax uh, data jack. So do you see here how I've got these little slots, one, two, three, four, these little downward slots? Well, there's colors underneath them and you can see there's like a half white, half blue, and then there's a solid blue. Well, that corresponds to these wires, the white, blue, and the solid blue. So what I want to do is take these wires and fan them out into the appropriate slots. While I do that, ideally I want to leave as much twist in the wire as I can because if I undo all the twist and if I make a big long uh, lead of, of exposed wire with untwisted, it makes it susceptible to noise. So, so when I'm done, you'll see what I'm talking about. You want the least amount of untwist and exposed wire as possible. So let me take and put these into place. So it helps if you kind of fan these out in advance a little bit. So put the brown and the blue over here. Put the white and the green, I mean the green and the orange over here. All right, so let me go ahead and get these fanned out. So I need the white, blue here. So we'll just do this real quick. I'll fast forward the camera, and then you can see what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's all done before I do what's called terminating or punching down. Now, on this side, it's blue and brown, but on this side, it's orange and green, and then it's like orange and green flipped, right? Well, that's because they're two different patterns. It's what they call an A style and a B style. If you don't know which one to use, use B style. That's the most common. But ideally, when you're working with a whole series of cables and patch panels, you want the same pattern used throughout your entire system. So if you're using a B style patch panel, or if the other end of your cable is B style, then you want to keep it B style on the, the side that you're making. All right, so now what I'm going to do is use something called the punch down tool. So what this is, is it's a it's an impact tool where the blade has got like one side is designed with a little bitty like cutter on the end, and then the other side is non-cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tool and with the cut side of the blade on the outside of the jack, so kind of like, let's see if I can get this where you can see it, like this, because what's going to happen is when I push down, it's spring-loaded, what it will do is the act of pushing down will push the wire into the slot, and in the base of the slot is some little metal teeth they are going to kind of bite into that, to that insulation and cut through the copper, which makes an airtight seal, and then this little cutting piece right here will cut off the rest of the wire, or at least perforate it anyway. 
Now you might be saying, well, wait a minute, I don't have one of these. Can I still do this? Yes, you can. What you can do is you can use this and some scissors and I'll show you what that might look like at the end, okay? All right, so let me do this action. And unfortunately, the only way I can do this usually ends up meaning that I have to cover up the camera uh, with my hand when I do it. Let me see if I can, here we go, yeah, that works. Okay, so let's do this and then like this and then like this. Here you can get like a front view. Remember, the cut side has to be out. Oh, there's the word cut there on the end of the, end of the blade. So the cut side has to be on the outside because we don't want to cut the inside of our wire. That won't do us any good. All right. Now, like I said, it either cuts them off or, or at the very least it perforates them so you just kind of wiggle them off. If you don't have the impact tool, what you can do is you can take what they call the dust cover. And the dust cover, if you take and lay your wires out like I just did, and you take and push the dust cover in real tightly, all right, there's, there's little wire guides in there that should force the wires down to the bottom of the slots. And then what you can do after that is you can come back with your scissors and you, as close as you can get, snip off the excess because you don't want any excess hanging out when you're, uh, when you're done. So, but because mine are perforated, it's gonna, it's gonna be look a lot neater. Let me take the dust cover back off. And once it gets on there, it doesn't want to come off very easily. There we go. All right, so let me get these off of there. <clears throat> all right, so double check my wire one more time before I put it back all together. So I should, according to the, to the little legend here, I should have solid blue and white blue. Is that what I have? Yep, okay. Solid brown and white brown. Yep, okay. Solid, uh, we do green. So solid green and green. So, and then uh, orange, white orange and orange. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to put my dust cover on. And it is now ready to go. So if there's another end of this cable, I need to go terminate that the same way or terminate on the patch panel. But that is how you do that. All right, hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.